Okay, question the next microphone. Hello, um, this question is directed to Mr. Kent. Um, as a student of an art school, this is an arts community, um, the tone of Mr. Harper's comments that ordinary people do not care about the arts um, and, ha and this $45 million ta uh, cuts for the arts budget is highly offensive for this um, arts-oriented community. And I know that you are also a supporter of the arts, so how do you respond to these comments that have been made? Well, first, first of all, if, if you received your account of Mr. Harper's comments from the Toronto Star, um, there, there was a very distorted um, out of context. There were contextual problems with that remark. You're right, I am a big supporter of the arts and so is the Conservative government. The $42 million in cuts and reassignment of very valuable arts dollars um, is part of a more than $2 billion um, cultural support program uh, from the uh, Conservative government. Under the Conservatives, uh, there's between 10 and 18 percent more money going to the Canada Council, to the major museums, to major cultural organizations, as well as, in the case of the 2007 budget, um, almost a million dollars uh, to the town of Markham, to the uh, Performing Arts Theatre there, to uh, restore and, uh, and upgrade its technology, and to, um, and to the Heritage Museum. So, uh, Conservatives are very sensitive to, uh, to culture and the arts. Um, in those $42 million, there were some programs where the money was very badly spent. Um, but uh, it's a competitive game. Those in the arts community realize that. And those dollars will be reassigned and will be kept in the arts community. The arts are very important. They're important for our country. They're important to celebrate our diversity. And I would say we can do much more even for arts than we've been doing uh, up to now. Uh, from my experience uh, living in Europe, uh, I can tell you I had one great experience. For the cost of $4, I saw Pavarotti live in the, in the Vienna State Opera House. I mean, those are types of things that, that the Europeans celebrate much more than we do here today. And we can be doing more. It's a huge uh, potential for, for jobs. And uh, there's an economic engine in there as well, which we're not recognizing, and we need to do even more than what we've been doing up to now. Thank you. The Conservatives cut millions of dollars from arts funding in this country right before an election. What were they thinking? So many people want to use these places for our free expression, creative expression. He cut millions of dollars from the museum's assistance program, from trade routes, from prom arts, from the Canadian Independent Film and Video Fund, from the Canadian New Media Fund, the National Training Schools Program, and the AV Preserve Preservation Trust, all before this election. Why? He put forward a film censorship bill. The NDP promises new solutions. We want to support freedom of expression. We oppose these cuts and we're in favor of more funding for CBC. Thank you. Arts and culture goes to the heart of who we are as Canadians, is our national identity. But then I'm not surprised that this wrong-headed massive cut into who we are when you consider that the Conservatives cut literacy, one of the first things that they did. Is it the opposite of what we should be doing? This is our strength. Of course it's a great driver of our economy. And I supported St. Elizabeth's Performing Arts Centre because I understand the importance that is, uh, what that enriches our community, enriches our country, and tells the world who we are. And this is extremely important because I think what it says is that the Conservative government does not understand Canada and right, Canadians right. and how we value the arts and culture. Well, I would just like to uh, correct the record both with, uh, with Susan and with Simon. Uh, funding has been redirected in both um, the Conservative government's support of literacy programs uh, and of the various arts programs. The Prom Arts program was one notable uh, uh, area that needed to be reassessed. To Norbert's point, again, I agree. Europeans uh, cherish the arts and the, um, the classical arts much more than uh, Canadians do, and that's largely because uh, private enterprise and corporations step up to the plate. We in Canada, and certainly private enterprise does in Canada, but not nearly to the extent that either our American cousins to the south or our European, um, our European cousins uh, across the Atlantic. Thank you.